Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance, where I show you how to make the most likely repairs you'll need to make in your lifetime. If you'd like to get the latest videos, subscribe, and then hit the little bell icon right at the subscribe button, and it'll notify you of any new videos when they're released for you. Kung Fu Maintenance, well, today I got a smart key that wasn't so smart. It didn't behave, and the key didn't take, and this happens sometimes. And it can be really frustrating, especially if it's your last one, and you're trying to finish up a job, or do a job it's very frustrating but what I have here is a smart key uh, cradle tool that's used to reset a smart key that went bad oh, this one is jammed there we go. okay now with with this kind oh, you kind of need to be able to turn it but we do is get under here there's a lever right here you get into there and lift that lever and then you can pull the center post out with a pair of pliers or whatnot so I'm push up on that pull the center post out then this prong deal we've got to insert it straight down inside to release the deal if you have a second key that works good if you don't uh, or a second cylinder removal tool, you put it in here and hold that portion up. See how it moves that it moves that portion, center portion up and allows you to insert the tool. So a second key works good. So you can lock it in like that and then push it straight down and push out your cylinder that pushes out the back part and this basically pushed these two tabs and let you release them okay so now uh, what we want to do is remove the keeper which is the little metal part and on deadbolts there's a washer behind this on the handle tool there's not and then we need to remove the spring clips here that hold the entire cylinder in. So there's a spring clip and now that lets us remove the whole cylinder. So this one, now I don't need the key anymore. Now this is where you're going to want to be careful that you don't separate these two portions because if this comes out, which happens very easily, then you can lose the little springs and there's a little side piece that's kind of tricky. Um, I can show it I show it in my deadbolt rekeying, in the smart key cradle tool for a deadbolt, uh, and this one's for a handset. So, smart key rekeying for a handset. What we want to do is line up the little icon of the rekeying deal with the arrow. So, just like this, and then line up the cylinder and insert that in there like that and then we're going to turn the whole deal until the arrow lines up with the line here and you maintain pressure you know maintain it so it stays like that we take our smart key pin and push it in all the way until it until it goes in all the way next you're going to take a key that you want to rekey it to and insert the key now this is where you're going to want to be careful. You're going to pull it straight out, but you can make sure you get the back of it and the whole thing together. It's very easy at this point to pull this out of the cylinder and then it's a mess. Okay, so now you're going to turn it to the right 90 degrees. And then again, I'm going to kind of use one finger on the front before pulling out the key or, or use my other fingers to hold in the front when I pull out the key. Okay, now we're Re-keyed. now we're we're gonna take it and we're gonna reinsert it back into our into our deal. Um, I mean, we we're, we've done sorry, we've done it. We pulled out the key. Now we're gonna reinsert it to the deal, depending on how you wanted the handing. 
at this point because depending on where your lock is that would open it you ideally want this portion down okay but anyway so now we're going to take it we're going to insert the spring clip and then we're going to insert the keeper it's important to make sure that you insert the keeper because if you don't it can pull out the center uh, from the spindle but now we've successfully rekeyed our lock and from here if you wanted to it's the regular smart key rekeying procedure so for this one like I'd turn it 90 degrees push in the pin pull out the old key insert mm -hmm. the new key that I want to rekey it to I want to rekey it to insert the key and then turn it in. And now I've successfully rekeyed my lock. We're good to go. But that's how you can rekey these. Now, from here, this is where you would insert it for your handing. You would insert it one way if you wanted your lock to sit up this way, and this way if you wanted it to sit the other way. I'm going with that way for my particular setup so that it'll open the, the door the way I want it to. With the key portion just down. reinsert the spindle. Take Based the on the latch assembly. Key there. And we are now successfully re -keyed. Just have to find the key that I rekeyed it to. Yeah. And we're all set. Our smart key that wasn't so smart just got a little bit smarter. Thanks for watching Kung Fu Maintenance. Over now. That's the cylinder cradle tool. And it's got instructions on the side, and it came with the instructions in the back, or in the box. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Kung Fu Maintenance. Over now. Definitely had some crazy stuff happen in the past few days, and going to be trying to share some of those videos with you, starting with the one I shared today, which was about how my best tips on unclogging air conditioner condensate lines and the preventative maintenance you can do to prevent things. But in that video, I shared my five plus best tips about con you know dealing with condensate drain clogs with from air conditioning and heading those things off. Hope you like this video, I'm trying to share some of my best tips. Now these are steps that you can take to head things off. You know, preventative maintenance always puts the maintenance on your schedule and, and uh, by clearing these lines ahead of time, right ahead of the, the cooling season, uh, can help prevent a lot of these things from happening. Obviously you can't prevent everything, but if you head off the majority of it, it's gonna save you a lot of time and effort later on and a lot of energy later on. That way you're not getting called off of everything else. You know, if you can do it ahead of time, preventative maintenance puts things on your schedule. Anyway, that's what Kung Fu Maintenance is all about, making life easier for you and sparing you as many headaches as possible. Thanks for watching, and I hope you subscribe. I hope you like the video. These past few days have been some crazy days. Hey, and I hope to be bringing you more videos uh, that happen these days. I had a compressor burnout. Cool. And then I had a unit that needed the disconnect changed out. So hopefully going to be showing you those videos and a little bit more how-to. Or a lot more how-to. And just sharing the experiences with you in the days to come. Thanks for watching. Fried everything. Below, you'll find links to the tools and some of the parts and tools and, and items used in the videos to help keep things running good. And maintain things how they should be. It looks like it's internal.